remember that it's not just mission, it's mission control. He's not only called you to do it, but he's in control of what he's called you to do. God is greater and bigger than all of it. Find some peace in that. The first one is that a life on mission does not equal a life of safety. You see this over and over and over again in Scripture. You've heard this preached from this very pulpit. This principle shows itself over and over and over again. Just because you are following the mission that mission control has given you and you are doing exactly what God has called you to do does not mean you are quote-unquote safe in the human mindset. Believer, are you following the mission he's laid out for you? Remember that your next mission might be a financial hardship, it might be cancer, it might be a strained relationship, it might be happening right now. Maybe you're not thinking about the next mission because you're snapped out in the middle of one right now. Maybe you're in that trial. Maybe you're following God and it's really hard. Maybe the only thing you can do is pull back to him. That's exactly where you're supposed to be. I love that the church was fervently praying for Peter. Now, imagine for a moment, you're the body. You're this first century church, okay? Stephen is dead. James is dead. Peter is now locked up, about to die. What is God doing? How does this make any sense at all? If God is trying to redeem the world through his son dying, why are, why are we dying? Why is this happening? Wouldn't it be better if God did this? Wouldn't it be better if God did that? All the things that I just said had one thing in common. None of them were, God, what are you doing? Those are conversations had between people. What's God doing? What's God doing? Guys, guess what? You got an earpiece and you got a microphone. You can talk to the God of the universe. The radio works both ways. Mission control is available to us. How cool is that? Don't just skip on past that part. We can talk to the God of the universe and, and say, God, what are you doing? And don't be afraid if he answers. Because he'll answer. And a lot of times, you may not like his response. God will rescue and condemn in ways the world cannot see or understand so that his word will continue to go forth. Hear what the word of God says. He is in control of it all. He is guiding it all. He has prepared you for a work. And he will walk with you in that work and he will guide you in that work. And if you are one that will pull away from that work and will not surrender your life to him, you will be set apart from him. The same God on both scenarios, if you do not give your life to him, he will not force it. But the Holy Spirit, the spirit on mission that we have studied, that we have witnessed what God has done, that we have witnessed it this morning of a changed life in a little girl and how he has paid for her sin and she will live life eternally with him. And not only live life eternally with him, walk with him here and we get to be a part of that. As a body, together, growing together, figuring this thing out together, all while being inhabited by this same spirit. And the world looking upon it won't get it because they don't have him. But they will. Because he's empowered us. He's called us into this community to interact with this community, to live with this community, to show people who God is. He's already been working. It ain't just this morning. God's God. Let's act like it. 